Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of April Scott. Now I did another story behind the picture with April and I got great response from it. Thank you very much guys. So here's another one. Welcome back. How did I get this fabulous photograph? Well, the first thing we did was obviously set up some time to get together to shoot in the studio. What I decided to do was to have a nice black background. And as you can see in this diagram here, I put half domes on each side of the model, one side on the right, one side on the left, so that the light would then wash over her through, or should I say, via the sides. And then in order to keep the front part of her lit up nice, I put a beauty dish up and that light just came straight towards her face and a little bit over her body. So I didn't want to have the amber light just wash over her and end up being an amber uh, sort of orange picture. I wanted to have it sort of, you know, so that you could see it was her and you could look at the clothes. If you are photographing clothes, there's nothing worse than trying to do something like this and then have the clothes turn into a different color. Now, fortunately, this bondage outfit is black, so it wasn't going to translate too much into orange. In the case of what I wanted was I wanted the white light to wash out in the front of her, keep her nicely lit, and then the amber just wash over the sides. I had one beauty dish on a boom that came down so I could shoot just underneath of it and also give me a little highlight in her eyes and then I had the two half domes. Now what is a half dome and how do we get the gels to be inside and produce an orange light? This is a half dome light, it's a softbox basically and um, what it is is not so square, it's more elongated and the idea is that I would put a gel inside over the top of the light. And this is the gel, it goes, it goes inside like this, tape it on here like that, and now the gel is hanging down over the light. Now a quick tip, make sure that you don't have your modeling lights on, because if you have your modeling lights on, you'll burn a hole or just destroy the gel, and you don't want to do that. You just want it just sort of laying in there like that over the light, and what happens is as the light goes off, it fills up the whole softbox with the amber color and you get a, a great look. It just gives you this wash over, over your model. So one on each side washes the model over and as you can see in this shot here, it looks really nice with this amber coming on each sides. And she's kind of lit up in the front there with without any gels on from the beauty dish that I have coming down directly towards her face. So that's how we did it. So it's quite simple. Lights on each side, one light in the center keep your model away from the background or the lights away from the background so it stays nice and black and you'll get a great look and you'll end up with a fabulous photograph like this. Now what I did after the shoot was I went ahead and put the photos into Photoshop. I found a great filter and I also found a bokeh filter that I really liked because uh, I wasn't going to mess up the, uh, the images in the camera. I wanted to sort of tweak them a little bit later on. So with the great aid of Photoshop and plugins, I was able to do that. And as you can see in this shot here, changed the color slightly and gave me a really sort of demure kind of look, a kind of a dreamy thing. So I was able to get April to give me the look that I was looking for, something where she wasn't just sort of modeling the outfit, not just looking at the camera, but you know, something that had a little bit of attitude. And as you can see in this shot here, I think it really, really hits the mark. So that's how I got that fabulous photograph of April in the fetish bondage leather outfit that she's wearing and I uh, hope you enjoyed how I got that. Now, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of information on there, some that would really help you with some of your photographic ideas and also how I went about doing some of the things that I've been doing. You can also download a PDF of a book I've got called Tips and Tricks with Playboy Playmate, Arena Vornina on the cover, and I also tell you how I got that shot as well. So the book is very informative. Now, please leave me a comment let me know what you think. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my blog. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.